So coming to the pathophysiological action, so on the lymphatic and glandular system. It causes a swelling and induration and may stimulate cancerous enlargements, okay? So glands may be hard and sore with indurated surrounding tissue and be paralyzed and infiltrated, okay? This is the lymph lymphatic system. So sluggish and indurated ulcers. This is another important thing about carbons, okay? They're sluggish mentally and they're sluggish physically. Everything is slow. Everything is slow to heal, okay? Especially this you can compare with in uh, fluoric acid. Fluoric acid also has indurated ulcers, which are very slow to heal, okay? So sluggish, indurated ulcers. And also carbon family has a general tendency to be overweight and, okay, uh, overweight basically, and flabby and overweight. Lymphatic secretions become fetid or offensive. So obviously there is no proper circulation. There is sluggishness, which obviously eventually le uh, leads to stagnation and stagnation will lead to offensiveness, okay? So that is the lymphatic system. So coming to the venous circulatory system, carbon affects the venous system, causes paralysis and infiltration of the veins, okay? That's why there is stagnation and sluggishness of the veins. Sluggishness of the venous system leads to enlargement and dilatation due to stasis of blood, thus leading to varicosity and ultimately leading to ulcer. So understand that sluggishness or stagnation leading to enlargement and dilatation leading to stasis of blood, varicosity and ulcers. Okay. Especially carbo animalis and all these remedies now and carbo wedge also very good for ulcers. Okay. Long-standing indolent ulcers. Anyways, I'll deal with uh, them in detail in the next class. <clears throat> so there is venous congestion. <coughs> Excuse me. There is venous congestion, blue sinus condition with much sweat and phlebitis. Okay. Inflammation of the veins, that is phlebitis. Okay. In vascular system, inefficient heart due to feeble circulation leads to stagnation of blood in the lungs, hypoventilation, and cardiac asthma. Just in general, remember the circulation is stagnant, whether it comes to venous or arterial, okay? Just remember that much. So coming to the GIT, what does it do on the GIT? Actually, the mucous membrane producing catarrhal condition increases the secretion, okay, in any mucous membranes, okay? Catar, that's what catar means. Okay? Flatulence, distension, foul erectation, and constipation. This I'm sure you'll remember, especially in cases of carbo wedge, extremely uh, dysfunctional digestion, okay? The digestion is very much sluggish, leading to putrefication of the food in your stomach. So faulty digestion, putrefied food in your stomach, which leads to offensive flatulence. That's why the carbo wedge has that pot belly, na? always filled with the gas, and especially of the upper abdomen. Carbo wedge has upper abdomen distension. Lower abdomen, you have lyco. The whole abdomen, you have china. Okay. So increased formative capacity of gastric juice leading to gastric ulcers and gastric gastralgia. Sorry. So I told you there's increased secretions, right? So that's why there is more gastric juice, which leads to ulcers and gastralgia, stomach pain. Okay. So in carbon, sluggishness runs everywhere, even in the liver, where non-starchy food also ferments. Okay. The digestion is not good, so that's why fermentation happens. And the vomiting may be sour or coffee ground. This is the, uh, this is the result of the fermentation. There is sour or coffee ground vomitus. Okay. And hemorrhoids because of stagnation in the G, uh, stagnation in the rectum, rectal veins or venous stasis, okay, leading to hemorrhoids. So coming to skin, so what all we see carbon affection on the skin. All carbons show a special affinity towards the skin, producing excoriation and erythema from friction. So this, okay, skin complaints is more predominantly found in carbo animalis, okay? All this uh, filons and impetigo, very bad pimples, ulcerations you'll find in carbo animalis, okay? And carbo animalis, keep in mind, is a very good remedy for relieving the death pains, okay? Deathly pains of cancer. You can think of carbo animalis and you can think of uh, what this one more remedy. Uh, there's uh, 
to that remedy carbo animalis and talentilla sorry talentilla cubensis also that's also a very good important remedy for deathly pains okay so skin is unhealthy brittle and doesn't hold stitches there's tendency to for sorry there's tendency for boils carbuncles and deep seated ulcers ulcers in eczematous area with crusts okay this i mentioned to you carbo animalis is one of the main remedies for this so they easily go into septic state because there's no proper circulation they go easily into septic septic state so it is more towards pyrogenum more towards muriatic acid all the septic remedies okay on the skin also it can produce psoriasis inside it can put i mean on the skin it can produce a ringworm blackish discoloration loss of hair and dandruff so hair loss from acute diseases or acute exhaustive diseases you can think of carbovich okay i repeat hair loss after acute exhaustive diseases you can think of 